Hey, 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 how's everybody doing? It's Tuesday. I'm just going to give everybody a few minutes to tune in before we start the cooking show. Make sure that you can hear me. It's 5 p.m. Well, it's almost 5 p.m. I told everybody I'd be live at 5. I'm a couple minutes early, so that's okay. Hello, honey. Are you looking forward to dinner tonight? I hope you are. I hope you're hearing me. Excellent. So, I have some pretty exciting news. So before, hi Kathy, how are you today? So before I even get started on my Feel Better Soup, hello Anastasia, hope that you're doing well today. Um, before I get started on my soup, I have a super fantastic announcement. <laughs> hi Connie, hope that you're doing well today. So last week, I was browsing on Facebook and if anybody knows me, you know, anybody that knows me or anybody that's been checking out my Facebook, I am a huge music lover. I, especially country, country, country music has been, has always had a, a soft spot, a, bleh, a soft spot in my heart. It's gotten me through, music has gotten me through some really tough times in my life and it's gotten me through some of my darkest hours that I probably never would have been able to get through had I not found a song. <laughs> and I know that might sound a little weird to other people, but at the same time, um, last week, I, again, I was browsing on Facebook and um, I ended up coming across uh, Jamie Warren's Facebook, he was going live, so I decided to tune in because I'm, I'm a big fan of his. So he came out with a new song and it's called um, Open a Window and he was talking about it on his, on his live and um, I got curious about the song because of how he was talking about it and what it was describing. So I went ahead and I scrolled on his Facebook a little further down and I noticed the video. So I clicked play and I watched it and I literally sat there bawling my, my eyes out because again, it was just one of those songs that found me just at the right time in my life. And anybody that knows me, um, knows that I take care of my mom and I have been since I've been about 11 years old due to her having schizophrenia. So the song Open a Window really, really touched my heart when, when I heard it. And today I happened to catch the end of Jamie Warren's live and they actually did a draw and I actually won. <laughs> so I'm super excited that I'm getting um, this new CD and whatever whatever's coming in the mail from Jamie Warren um, that I that I won so super excited about that and when I if you guys haven't had a chance to see the video yet scroll down on my Facebook pages down there um, and then I shared the live video with my with me winning so hey me <laughs> I never win so that's like super exciting so Let's get to our soup. <laughs> now that I've told you about my my super awesome day, um, we are going to be doing a sweet potato soup, butternut squash as well, and I'm going to be do using the Instapot. So I got my insert for my Instapot, and I'm just going to toss it up to the side here. Now I've gone ahead and I've washed two medium-sized potatoes, and I'm just going to chop off these ends here. And I apologize if I don't get a chance to talk to you at the moment because I'm cutting up these potatoes so I can get my recipe going. Sweet potatoes are actually pretty tough, a very tough vegetable to cut. So, oh, look, it's stuck. <laughs> there we go. I'm like, holy moly, that was a hard one. So, I'm not even going to peel the sweet potatoes. I have washed them and I'm just going to cut them up. I apologize because this is probably like really loud. I'm going to cut that. I should have cut those before, but it's okay. So I'm just going to keep them in big chunks because I'm going to cook them down in my Instapot. So because it's a pressure cooker, you don't need to worry 
too much about chopping things down. You just throw it on for an extra few minutes and it'll cook it at a bigger size. Now, do this carefully without chopping my, my hands off here. So all I do is I just chop off my ends. And put those aside. I don't put that into my soup. And then, holy moly, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> I usually do this stuff there we go. before I go live. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Chopping it up, chopping it up. And I'm just throwing it into the Instant, to the Insta Pot. Now, just so that you guys know as well. Because this is actually going to be a two-part recipe and I have to wait for the vegetables or like all the ingredients in my soup to cook down. Later on, once the, my Instapot is done cooking and I am going to blend my soup into, um, I have a Ninja um, blender. So I'm just going to take all my ingredients once they're uh, all cooked in the Instapot and I'm going to incorporate it into my blender and turn it into a creamy soup. So what I'll do is when that part comes up, because I'm not going to be doing it on my live, I will um, do a small quick video and I will add that video to the comments. So that way there you guys can see it in both parts. So, all right. So I added, I added my two medium sweet potatoes into here and In here, I don't know if you guys have seen my other uh, my other video, but I usually take any vegetables that are about to go bad or something that I might not be. Um, I buy like the mini bags of mini carrots, for example, and if I know that I'm not going to use them all for one entire recipe, I'll incorporate. I'll put them into a freezer bag and put them into my freezer, and either use it for um, a soup recipe. Or I cook them down and then I use it to make my own vegetable broth. So I'm going to take, because I still have some carrots and that that are in here, I'm going to take some of those. I'm going to take a cup, a couple of vegetables. Just, I'm going to grab the carrots and a couple of broccoli. mushrooms and then the rest of this I will end up using in a different recipe there we go. and I will incorporate this and I take my ends from my peels from any sweet potatoes um, regular potatoes onion peels anything like that and I would throw it in here because this is my scrap bag now and then later on, I'll make my vegetable broth out of it with my Instapot. So, here you go. So, I'm going to throw that aside. So, I've got my veggies in here. I'm going to add, I have three cups. And this is a homemade vegetable broth. Again, made from just frozen vegetables that I had left over. And I'm going to incorporate... And a half and this is just frozen butternut squash I just picked this up in the frozen section at either food basics or Walmart depending on depending on where you shop so you're gonna throw all that in there then you're going to take now I'm gonna use uh, natural milk if you are vegan you can use um, almond milk I would not or soy milk anything that does not have a vanilla flavor to it, um, as long as it's a regular and nut flavored. So I'm gonna take a cup and a half of milk and I'm gonna throw that in there as well. Now, the reason I call this my feel good soup, my feel better soup is simply because of this. The spices that I'm gonna incorporate in here. So just to give it a little, a little bit of Flavor, but without being um, I don't know, bold, I'm going to add a teaspoon 
of ground nutmeg. That actually blends in very well with um, butternut squash and sweet potato. It, uh, it gives it almost a little bit of a, a nutty texture, but um, the flavor in it is fantastic. You, uh, I use nutmeg a lot for cook, uh, baking as well. So I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of garlic powder. Garlic is good for you when you are sick. Another healthy ingredient to use when you are sick, ginger. And again, because of the sweet potato and the butternut squash, I'm gonna put a quarter of a teaspoon because this is the fresh ginger. You don't want it to overpower your entire recipe, but you do want it to add a little bit of freshness to your recipe as well. So, and again, this is all gonna be blended down so into a creamy soup. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this trick before, but my salt shaker actually comes out pretty quick, my salt, so I'm just gonna do a quick, quick shake. Now the pepper. If you take your, I don't know if you guys have seen this online or not, but if you look at the bottom of your salt and pepper shakers, there's actually ridges. Are you ready for this? You do that, your pepper just comes out all on its own. Uh, and now you have pepper. <laughs> and I'm going to say that there's a tablespoon of pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt, just regular salt. So, last, oh, sorry, second last ingredient. This stuff, now this is completely optional, okay? Um, this has a strong kick to it, but it's not a spice it, like it's not a spicy kick like not heat um but it, i'll tell you one thing it, it clears your sinuses really well <laughs> and it's wasabi horseradish so if you are congested get yourself some wasabi again don't sit there and try and eat it like that because it is it is spicy um and it will clear your sinuses beautifully <laughs> but i'm gonna take Here's just a squeeze bottle, and I'm gonna take a tablespoon, and I'm just gonna throw that right in there. And again, because this is all gonna be blended together later after it's cooked down, which I will show the video with you guys in the comments as well, um, all of this is gonna be blended into a creamy soup. So you're not, although you're going to taste the wasabi, it's not going to be overly potent at the same time, but it will help clear those sinuses, trust me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to reach over here real quick. And last ingredient, I'm just going to use some just cornstarch. Corn so I'm just going to teaspoon and I'm just going to toss that in there. And I'm going to mix this real quick. nothing sticking at the bottom. Now, normally, I tell you guys to add water to your Instapot. However, this time, because I'm using a vegetable broth, that is going to act as my water. So I'm not going to be incorporating any extra water into my recipe. So I'm going to plug this in. And then we're going to take our pot and we're going to the insert and we're going to put it in there. Now, this is your lid. This is the back. Oh, here we go. Let's do that. This is the back of your lid. This is where the, the pressure valve is. And then this is be your front. Now inside your lid is this. And you take this little contraption here. And it's like your seal for the inside of your lid. And you just push it on. And you'll notice that the little button kind of pops through so that you know you've got your seal. So you're going to make sure that your pressure button here is down. You're going to put your lid on and it's going to give you a hard time. There we go. <laughs> and okay, my head's not too in the way this time. Do, do, do. Where is my soup button? There it is. Soup button. 
30 minutes. So this is on. My pressure valve is down. My lid is locked and I'm going to let it do its thing. It's going to take about 40 minutes in total. It takes about 10 minutes for the pressure to build up in the Instapot and then it'll count, start doing the countdown from the 30 minutes. Once it's ready, it'll beep. So once I get to that point where it beeps, I will actually do a record a separate video. It won't be a live, but I will record another video and I will share it in the comments on how to um, stop your Instapot and how to blend down your soup into a creamy soup. And that's it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow at five, oh yes, tomorrow we're doing grilled cheese sandwiches. And then on Thursday, Thursday morning, I'm actually going to be doing my cooking show in the morning because we go see my mom. That's our day to visit. And mom wants uh, homemade beans for dinner so or for lunch. So I'll be doing my cooking show in the morning. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one.